All right. So one of the things that a lot of young people ask us all the time is about, you know, snakes pooping and things like that. And, you know, where do they go to the bathroom? And of course, my favorite answer is right about where your hand is. But seriously, um, this morning, Ginger gave us a scientific experiment. And just as an aside, and Tiny can back me up on this, snakes do fart. And she did. <laughs> she farted they loud. Um, but uh, at any rate, this is kind of cool because it's a little bit different the way humans uh, poop rather than than uh, um, animal than uh, snakes do. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. And I've got my double insulated glove on here. <laughs> but this is actually kind of interesting because if you look, there's two kinds of feces here. The first one, you're going to notice there's hair in it and fur. And if you notice, it's white fur. And that's because she can't digest the fur. And so this is all the protein and stuff that you would normally see in her feces. But there's also a huge component of fur in this. And this is exactly how you would see it. And even here, here's a great example of, the, you know, just fur that they can't digest. And so rather than break it down, she just passes it, especially down here. This is kind of interesting too. Almost looks like an egg yolk. Yeah, well, I'm not eating it for breakfast. <laughs> no. Okay, so this is called a urate. And what's interesting about this, there's one there and then there's another one over here. Okay, and what these are is this is also, this is this is the parts of the bones and things that she can't break down that way also. Snakes actually do pee because um, I've seen, you know, snuggles and I've seen ginger both leave just liquid in the um, in their cage. But what these are is these are the bones and like I said, the other things that they can't break down, the minerals and the heavier things. And this actually feels like it's very heavy. Those right there, they're very, very light. But these guys right here are very... It's uh, almost like a rock. Yeah, it's kind it's of, kind of kind chalky. Of. And um, sometimes it's... it's uh, Sometimes it's hard and then sometimes it's kind of loose. But if it's hard like this, it's normally a very good sign that this is a healthy snake. Um, but this is her, you know, the bones and things that she would break down that she couldn't otherwise break down in her body. And uh, so that's everything you didn't want to know about snake poop. <laughs> Well, it's interesting. This is her um, soaking tub and her, yeah. you know, she drinks, but those snakes will go in there to use the yeah. bathroom too. Um, that, therefore, that. they'll keep their cage clean. Nothing but fur. But you kind of heard her pass gas in the water first before this. Oh, it sounded like a thunderclap. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we we're like, uh huh. Now, the funny thing is, is Ginger's been kind of mopey for a couple days, and literally she does this, and now she's motoring around her cage she like she's better. found a new lease on life. All right, well, I'm just glad my phone did not drop into this bucket. Of... Yeah, because you'd be on your own there, sister. <laughs> All right, there's your educational yeah. lesson for the day. Okay, time for lunch. <laughs>